Okay, just a quick video just to kind of go around the uh, fuel lines uh, in the fuselage. You know, to start with, you're going to need to, of course, put together your fuel selector and put it in place. And uh, here's the little piece that goes in the back here. It's got the little two little prongs that goes forward. Uh, I go in the fuel kit. You don't have to. You can use pliers, but I go into the fuel kit and go ahead in the finish kit and get my um turn knob here and i go ahead and there's the correct screw that attaches it uh, these are actually the attack correct screws i think it's a 10 30 second but any 10 30 second screw this is going to come back out later but right now you're just going to screw the fuel selector in with these temporarily to hold it in place while you get all your fuel lines and then later after you install the this left side panel it will mount here first and then these screws will go through a, a selector, a plate, a round plate. that will go on first, and then it'll go through those, and then it'll screw into the fuel selector. So uh, that's kind of a temporary thing now just to uh, help get you going. This right here is my front interior panel. For that left side, you're going to need to at least uh, get that one out or pay attention to where I tell you the marks are, where you'll have to use it to do your standoffs on that side, which I'm... I'll go over right now. But anyway, fuel selector's in place. Uh, when you test the system, you need it up, which is both. So this would have been left, this would have been right. And then with this, where you'll have to push in the spring here, here is a, are those plungers coming in from the back later. You'll put springs on those and then a plate. What they'll actually do is it prevents you from turning it off accidentally. You actually have to push the plate in with the springs on those plungers. And then you'll turn it over and go to the down position, which is off. So when we test the fuel system, then we're gonna want it up to both so that we can see uh, how the systems work. That's how these balloons uh, here are, which are testing the fuel lines for two days now for me. But in any case, uh, so the fuel selector's in place and then uh, the manual says to start cutting fuel lines and tape them in positions and overlapping them and all that. I don't, I just start putting them together. So I just go up here, when I put the fuel selector together, I go ahead and install this, uh, these parts here, this, these metal connectors that are going into the fuel selectors, three of them, one, two, three, metal on metal, and this part right here, those are all gonna have five Loctite 567. Again, they have gone away from fuel lube. They had problems with fuel lube because it does not dissolve. And the fuel lube, of course, works good but you gotta keep it on the threads away, not let any of it get on the other side because then it doesn't dissolve so it can go into the fuel system and, and clog something up. So on the bench, I put this together, I put these together, I pull all these parts. This has got the fitting that goes into the fuel selector. This is the nut that you'll use all throughout the build anywhere you're using plumbing. So you've got that and it'll have an insert that'll, you can see it sticking out there, that's the little insert, a little plastic insert that goes, and you have to pop it out through here. And I would do that before. I show on the forum post how you can take a Clico and put it in there or an ink pan, but a Clico works good. And then you're gonna have to kind of squeeze it to pop this side of that through. Try to get where you can see better. Let me get that, I've already got that on there. But see there, that's that little insert coming through the smallest side of the insert comes through the nut. So you're gonna take the fuel line, you're gonna push it through the nut, make sure you get an insert, okay? That's a fuel insert. Now I noticed that the part numbers were not correct, didn't match the manual with what they gave you in the totes. So the little inserts are in the totes and I don't recall offhand, I think it was an NAS part but there's no other so, uh, fuel selectors. You'll have some in your G3X kit, which are smaller, but the ones that'll fit in the end of the fuel line are in your totes. And uh, you have to make sure you have a fuel insert every fitting, any place that you're putting the end of a fuel line, whether it's going into metal or plastic, always has to have an insert. So that insert is a round piece of plastic at the end, it's perfectly square. It goes up into there, so when you tighten this down, it really pushes in and secures a tight seal in there. So I just go ahead and start start here. Just cut a little piece here. I think they tell you, you can cut it four and a half. And it doesn't matter. Just cut you 
a few inches you can see about how far uh, and i go ahead and attach it i don't tighten everything down yet but i go ahead and put it up there and kind of snug it up then i come back over here and put this one on you know this one on and then i go ahead and go to this side and i just run it down and you can see it runs down through here and everything on this side of the airplane is going to go downhill because we're going to go down and that's going to the other side which is going to be a low point fuel uh, drain and then you'll have another one this is one that comes forward here here and will be the forward drain which will be right there by the gas layer the gas layer will end up being there just forward of the firewall and that's the that's this line here coming out of the bottom of the fuel selector comes across goes behind this one comes down and see here i've got it tied here comes underneath there and then it's going to go forward and it's going to end up going through the firewall and to attaches the gas layer is going to be about right here attached to the firewall okay right here attached to the firewall so later this is going to go on there the actual fitting for the fuel selector the low point drain is going to be here so you've got this little fixture we're going to screw this onto the bottom of the boot cow later well, this will stick out and it'll have a quick drain attached here. And he said, I've gone ahead. You'll notice you'll have an extra 90. So what you're going to do is this is the metal nut that will go in there. Same thing. You got your, ins your little insert that goes through the nut. Then when you push your little piece of fuel line through, it'll have an insert on the end. Then just cut you a little piece. See here, as short as you can, because you don't have a lot of room up there. So you're going to be up inside of that tunnel area or just outside the tunnel area when you put the boot cowl on and then so this little this is just a little bitty piece of fuel line right there it comes up to here you cut it off it goes through you put there's nothing there's no inserts like the metal ones have those little inserts there there's not any for the plastic simply the fuel line goes through it you put the fuel line inside uh, the fuel insert inside the fuel line and then you make sure you push it all the way into the fitting so first so take that fuel line in and push it real hard take this fitting and push it up make sure and wiggle it back and forth make sure you've got this seated against here and then the screw uh tighten down the plastic uh, nut on that side so a 90 is going to go on there so this side here i've got it ready to go eventually this will go on the boot cow down here and then it'll attach to uh, this fuel line here which is going to be the low point drain so we'll cut this later on that end of that it's going to slide through here Take this nut off, slide through it, put a insert in that fuel line, and that's going to be your low point drain. I just made a note to myself, since I was already looking at the figure, that those are the parts. There's going to be four of those screws right there that are going to attach it to the boot cowl when I get ready to uh, do it. So I just have that made up. Since I had all my plumbing out and I had all my parts already, a lot of the time I spent pulling parts and finding figures in the manual. So I'm gonna add a section where I can do that. I just go ahead and pull the parts, put them together while I'm looking at it. And then that way it's done, okay? So you come on back to here like we were, where we were at, put it on. This one's running downhill all the way. And it's gonna run through here. They say they put a little electrical tape along these edges. I don't know if it's necessary because then you're taking a spiral wrap. There's a spiral uh, wrap white spiral wrap that's big these areas here where it goes through through the stringer so it's going through the stringer and coming out the back side and so the stringer's already cut out like this there's another one here you can see it's going through the stringer and coming back on that side from here to about here somewhere it also has that spiral wrap that's protecting that fuel line because it's going through there and then we plus we also have the chafe protection around it that's going on here okay so this one comes on down to here rotate this one see a little easier comes down to here this is all continually coming downhill uh of course when it's sitting in three point position everything's <laughs> going to be downhill but even in the flying position it should be coming downhill so you can see this is here then it's coming down a little bit more here all these places i've gone in and put some electrical tape there and I'll put a zip tie onto it. Right here, we make the corner a 90 degree. Same thing here, we're going back down here. So we've got a little 90 here. Same thing, fuel line goes into it, insert, tighten the nut, go from here, go over to there. 
Then I stop it and go around the other side and put that part together. To plug this hole, you're going to need to plug this fuel point, fuel point drain. We're going to, the, the um, cover is going to go uh, across, of course, from this, this part here. This is the center piece of carbon fiber. It's going to go up to there. So we've got this, the, car, the fi, fi, a fabric is going to go across here. This is the drain piece that will go into it when we finish the install. We have a quick drain here and we have one that'll go up in the front for that low point drain. So these fittings are in your kit too. I just go ahead and I just use a little Teflon tape for now to be sure it, it seals good and I put it up in there so I can test it with my balloons to make sure I'm holding, uh, holding air holding pressure not leaking okay so this is an adjustment nut there which is adjust the height to this you can see pretty much this ha to me it has to go all the way up there to make it work right and then there's another one of our nut metal nuts with another one of the little nut inserts line goes through there another insert goes up to here here we got another t so it's coming from this side back over to there and then up from that side so we'll go over there and look at it but that's kind of how uh, this side is running here come back over here every every one of these places you see here i actually came over here i went ahead and drilled a hole in this uh, stringer here because this one i had it hit about right here that way it's slightly above it here uh, even more slightly above it here and then of course slightly above it here and then here so we've got, got it going downhill the whole way Everywhere where the lines cross, that's where we've gone and taken, and they give you a piece of wider, uh, it looks like fuel line, but it's a wider piece, a bigger piece, so the fuel line will fit inside of it. Cut you a little piece, take it, and I, I slice it. I don't slide it on like they talk about in the manual. I just take that little tube of it, slice it, and then wrap it around it where you need it. Secure it on both ends with some electrical tape, and of course the chafe protection is going on over that and then where they overlap here then that's where we've then put the tie wraps and this is actually the kind of a figure eight one with a standoff so you take one tie wrap goes in this direction as you loop it over then you take another one you go around that side pull it tight so it gives you a little bit of separation there and then you pull that one tight so you've got a mini standoff okay then i go ahead and put a little standoff here and you can see it's nice and secure there, okay? Then, uh, same thing here. You can see from the front, top of the fuel, this is fuel coming in. And you'll see it's actually coming in right here. It's going up, it's going to this side, and it's going right up to this left fuel tank in the front. So just bring it, it's going to, all this is going to go to the outside, comes up. They say eventually it'll be about an inch and a half out here like this when you install it, but you got plenty of room. Bring it up here. I just put a zip tie on it for now. It's to be temporary till later. Comes up to here. Then we'll go in the back side. It'll come out here. It's going to end up attaching to the fuel tank, which is going to be about right here when you attach the wings. So it's going to end up turning and just attaching uh, right here. So you don't need much. That's uh, plenty. But that's the way it's routed. It comes around the back side and comes out the front. Like I said, and then it'll go up and attach to the fuel tank. So that's coming into the front of the fuel selector, okay? The back of the fuel select, the back of the left fuel tank is coming here. It's coming around behind the back of this piece. Then it's coming down here. And of course, you, I work backwards and then I come up here, make sure everything's tight and, and let it come out. But that's coming down, routing across here. You see what that's going to the low point drain, all the way out to the low point drain. So, so when you come in backwards here, we've got a, a grommet, which is called out for, I think this is a 12. And then we've got another small one up here, which we're gonna run our wires through, which I'm doing now here. Then we ran another grommet up here. We ran that tube through. And then I just stopped the chafe as uh, protection on either side. So that one's coming from the low point drain. And again, see this low point drain, is also leaves it from, in, from the front of the tank. So it's coming in here. The, the water would still come down this way and go in here and go out to the low point drain. And then here, this is going to the back of the fuel tank, which would go to the low point drain forward. It comes up through here. It's coming through this one, crossing behind this one. It's coming up here, coming right here. You can see it going 
to the back of this. And when you get this in this interior panel, you'll see that the interior panel will actually sit over this and it comes over here and it's got a cutout. You may actually have to trim it or that fuel line comes up through there and it goes to the back side. Then the back side here, I'm just making it where it looks nice. Try to hide it kind of behind the tube. You gotta kind of put several in there. It makes a pretty big bend right here. So like that and bends, bends, goes behind it again, comes up and again, that'll mount to the fuel tank up here. Then uh, that's pretty much for this side. And we come right here, well, the top part here, you can see this comes up and same thing, we're coming uh, downhill the whole way. So this is coming up from here and this is gonna be out of the way later. This is your handle for your prop. Comes up here, comes across behind this. So this is actually attached to the fuselage tube. And then this is attached to this tube. Again, there's the double protection, the other piece larger through here. So it's got a lot of protection there. Comes around here, comes to the inside. I just put a temporary tie wrap on here later. After you do all your wiring, you have all your bundles of wire here. This will all kind of all get bundled together. So for now, you just kind of hold it in position, but you want it to do the same thing. You want it to kind of, eventually this will come downhill. This one will be higher. This one will be lower. It goes around, comes to the inside again of this, this one here. It goes up, goes to the back side of that piece, comes right here. And again, that'll, that's what will go up to the fuel tank. The back one here, then you're coming, after you come over here on this side of the drain, then this one's gonna have a little piece to here. And then it's gonna come up here, go through the back side of that stringer, come up the back side of the stringer, come up through here, it's tied here. Now I'm missing, I'm back ordered a piece for my door frame for my baggage door here. So I can't finalize this yet. It's just all just kind of sitting here. And, uh, but, so I can't finally secure that, but that's why this is temporary. That's why I don't have the cover that goes over here, but that fuel line is gonna go through here. There's a little metal cover. It's gonna go on the back side of this here. It comes up, then of course, same thing, follow the tube there, come back over, come around the back side, and come back around up through here, okay? So then I go back and after you got all your shape protection, everything in, the one thing I talked about is these two standoffs, um, in the manual they say to put two standoffs here and they give you a, a dimensions or something, just forget it. Take the front panel here, this is your front panel piece. When you install this front panel piece, it's gonna go, so this front edge is gonna go on the outside of the fuselage. So it'll actually touch the firewall right here. And remember this, the edge is over here. So bring it up to where it's, it's, pretend there's a firewall there. And that's where that's gonna go. Make sure it's on the floor all the way there. So it's all the way up against the floorboard here. And I'm getting ready. The next thing I'm gonna do here soon is I will, before I cover it, I will install all the interior panels, at least mark them and I'm gonna put nut plates on, but you can mark them and drill them if you wanna push the push holes in. But you'll see when you come up here, this interior panel, is pre-cut out for a spot for this fuel line to come through. So you see, that's as low as you can go here. So don't have it hanging down here somewhere because then it won't work. So go ahead and have it up here somewhere. Like I say, later I'll do it, so I'll have it so that this will be down here. Then I'll route this up to that corner. So I've got a downhill here. And then then same thing, angle up there, angle all the way up to there. But what you'll notice is that, you'll, if you can see, there's cutouts. Can you see them? Right here, there's a cutout. And here's a cutout right here. These are already in that interior panel. So when you bring that up, that's going to go up underneath there like that. This is going to be up flush. So you got it up flush with the firewall here. It's bringing in on the floor, touching the floor there. And I, you can just mark it if you want to, but I think I called out in the forum the dimensions. I think this was 10 inches. I think this was like 12 and a quarter or something. But anyway, don't put these in here. Uh, without first making sure they're hitting your spots, see, your cutouts in your panel, or you'll get ready to put your panel in when you're finished with the airplane and you'll push it up 
against her. You're like, man, it won't work because you had to stand off here and here because it doesn't give you any dimensions in the manual. So just make sure. I imagine all these panels are the same. So you see those cutouts right there. Make sure they're where you put your standoffs. It doesn't matter the length of them. Just make sure you're still going downhill from here, downhill, 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 and then from here, downhill, all the way into that T right there, okay? And once that's done, you can see what I've done is, again, you take some fuel line with an inside diameter of, what was that, three-eighths, I think, that uh, fuel line is. Anyway, yeah, I think it's, I think it's a three-eighths interior. So what you do then is then get you some bolts with some shoulders on it. You can use some out of your kit or go buy some, whatever, but some three-eighths inch bolts. So you got the, not threads here, but a shoulder, smooth metal. Slide those up and clamp them down good. Then the other end, you can slide up into, oh, the tubing will barely fit in and clamp them down and seal it tight. Same thing on this one. So all four of them, four of these have to be sealed along with the two in the front, okay? So then what I do is I take, and I just happen to run out of, run out of balloons. So I got different kinds of balloons, but it doesn't really matter. But I've got a test here. You know, balloons will just lose air, period. Some balloons more than others. So you do a, uh, standard, which is, I blew this balloon up. When I blew it up, you see that little blue mark around the neck? I put a mark there, meaning that when I blew it up, that's where it was at. Is if it loses air, then you know it'll go down and leave more of a neck below that. So that's just a control. So if this one's going down a little bit over a couple of days, and I'll look and see if this one's going down the same amount, I know it's not a leak in the system, it's just the way that balloon works. That one, you can see, I just blew it all the way up to where it touched the neck. And this one on the other side is marked. But then you'll, once you get that done, you have to make sure, again, your fuel selector is on both. So it'll let the air cross over. Here you can see the, where I marked the neck of that one. And uh, then I just come over here. And you'll take, I've got two more ready. And then I take it and I just put my mouth on there and I just blow it. And I just blow, look and I watch the balloons and just blow the balloons up. I forget which one blows which one up right now. But one side will blow one balloon up. Once it gets blown up, just hold your finger on the end, stick this on there and tighten it up to hold it. Then blow the other one up and cap it off. And uh, then I just attach the balloons with uh, electrical tape. Use some good stretchy regular electrical tape, not friction tape, but electrical tape. And I just slide the neck the neck up over it, you know, a good ways, and then wrap it real hard, stretching it a lot as I wrap it, and and really pressing it down good. And I haven't had any problems. It it holds air uh, really well. So anyway, that's the way you test it. And if you see your balloons going down again, if you don't have your control, you might think you're leaking air. So it might just be going down the same amount as your control is going down as the air goes through the uh, balloon. But if you are truly losing air and uh, it leaks down, then uh, uh, go back and retighten all your connections again and check them. Make sure your electrical tape is good and sealed. And then you can take a bottle of soapy water, you know, and squirt it or spit on <laughs> I don't know if you've got enough spit, but you can just get some soapy water and go over every one of your connections. I'd start with the ends of these, check every one of these, just spray a little water, see if you're getting any bubbles. That soapy water will make it bubble. Uh, I talk about it in the forum, and the manual tells you to, on tightening the, the nuts, the metal nuts, almost all of them are going to ground out. They say, I think, two and a half turns or until they bottom out. So, of course, you do the dots thing, but I just tighten the metal up till they're real tight, which is, like again, they're usually completely bottomed out on the set nut. <laughs> you do that. The plastic ones, what they say is uh, one and a half turns. So I do it one and a half turns or maybe just a touch more. Uh, this is some pretty good stuff. I've never had a leak with any of the plastic fittings at all. If, again, make sure your fuel line is all the way, pushed all the way against this fixture. When you push it in, make sure it's seated all the way. Hold it there while you tighten the nut, tighten the nut down so that you're not pulling that fuel line out. Because you can pull that fuel line out or rotate it right up until about the last a uh, little bit of a turn. So that's how you tighten those up again with your little dots, the other sides. So I've got probably one and a half turns on them. Tighten them up and actually these balloons were up yesterday. So they've held for one full day already anyway. And uh, I guess that's about it. 
I think I've walked around it so you can kind of see how everything is laid out. Like I said, again, this is not looking right here. This is going to be lower. I just zip tied it up out of the way, but this will, we'll just make sure coming across here that this line will start about here. I'll pick this side up, up. It'll be coming down across there, there, and across here. Uh, and of course it goes this way and it goes on the end, stays on the inside, inside, inside there. And uh, same thing, it goes like this and then it goes under this bar and around there and that away. So anyway, I uh, hope that helps.